Hello everybody, uh, right now we're about to do valve lash here and we got the valve cover off and uh, we pulled the spark plugs out to relieve the compression and now we're about to go ahead and turn this here to top dead center. So uh, now you're going to need a 12 millimeter wrench and you're going to need a flathead screwdriver. I have a torque wrench here, it's actually a inch pounds but it's converted to uh, foot pounds. So uh, go ahead and uh, make sure your specs are proper. The part number if you don't have one. I'm actually going to be using the power steering pump pulley to rotate the engine here. Alright guys, so we got it to top dead center here now and uh, cylinder number one and you can actually see there are a, a few marks here that line it up you also have these ones on here I don't know if you can see that here in the video that uh, line, line with the plane of the head the feeler gauges here it's uh, 0 0.10 millimeters and 0 0.18 millimeters the way you're gonna be checking this is on the cylinder you uh, have at top dead center you're gonna stick it in here Alright, as you can see, this one's actually pretty good, and then uh, this one here's got a little bit too much drag. So uh, just so you guys can get a better angle here and actually see this, how it goes underneath the cam. Uh, the first time I did this, I was doing it wrong. I was going like this, and you are supposed to go like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and check the exhaust side here. What you want to do is you're going to make very minute adjustments to loosen or tighten this. And as you can see that it, it does move this little screw and the bottom nut is the tightening nut. That's the one that you want to hold still. Sometimes it does move. Alright guys, so in order to tighten it, you're going to want to put your screwdriver, your flathead here on this and hold this and crank down the tightening nut. And uh, double check your uh, adjustment there and make sure that that's still that slight drag that Honda talks about. So now that uh, we've adjusted number one cylinder, we're going to go ahead and uh, move cylinder number three uh, top dead center. Alright guys, I got cylinder number three at uh, top dead center here. Same exact steps you just did to cylinder number one. So it appears that the intake side is a tiny bit loose and the exhaust side is a tiny bit tight. After adjustments, rotate cylinder number four to top dead center. Now uh, cylinder number four is at top dead center. There's the two lines on the cams here will align and the other ones will be uh, even with the plane of the head here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, adjust the valves. Intake side was loose, exhaust side was tight. So we went ahead and did number four. Now we're going to move... Uh, Number two. Okay, so the valves are adjusted. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the spark plugs back in. Uh, it doesn't really matter what what you leave the engine at to start it. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get back to you in a second. Thanks for watching.